Hey guys, welcome to the Liberal Hive Mind, a channel solely focused on exposing the abundant hypocrisy of the left. Now, I know that many people struggle with this, and in some cases, you know, I understand it makes sense. The struggle of having to interact and deal and even be friends with people who have different perspectives, political opinions, values than you do. You know, in the cases where it's a far gone, out of their mind leftoid, I totally understand. But in many cases, some of these left wingers happen to be good people. I think that's pretty much a fact. You know, Tim Pool's technically on the left. Joe Rogan, I guess we could call it center left, Bill Maher, Jimmy Dore. You know, we used to live in a world where there was people on the left and people on the right. There was ideological differences. You'd debate, have discussions, sometimes meet in the middle. You could have disagreements, then go grab a beer and still be friends. I long for that world. Well, I mean, the real world's kind of still like that, but the internet obviously has moved in this weird freaking direction. Anyways, why am I saying this? I'm saying this, I guess, to make the point that sometimes left-wingers can see the light. And when they do, they should be given credit. And we've been doing a lot of that on this channel. When Bill Maher says something that makes sense, that goes against insane leftist rhetoric, we clap for him. I've also made videos recently on Anna Kasparian, Hollywood rapper Ice Cube, and Charlemagne from The Breakfast Club podcast, or radio show rather. And today we're putting the spotlight on top sportscaster Stephen A. Smith. I'm sure you guys know of him. The guy's an absolute dynamo. Well, he's currently going viral for voicing a very uncomfortable truth, something that we see keep popping up, especially with these leftist thought leaders. Stephen A. Smith is a public Democrat. Let's take a look at what he had to say. Let's take a look at the clip that has leftoid brains imploding, and then let's have a conversation about it. We got some stuff to get into, so let's roll the tape. All right, folks, so a lot of these extremely famous Democrats seem to be waking up, at least to a certain extent. We've got this from Trending Politics. Watch, top sportscaster calls for new president in 2024 after Biden's fall. Longtime sportscaster Stephen A. Smith has voiced a concern that many liberals have shared privately for months. President Joe Biden is simply too old to meet the demands of his job, and it's time to find someone new to fill the role. Take a look at what he had to say. Ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> it's just my personal opinion. Somebody's got to say it, so I'm going to say it. We need a new president in 2024. When we saw what we saw the other day, handing out diplomas to graduates at the Air Force Academy in Colorado, and we saw him fall, it happens. It's not the end of the world. It's not evidence that he's just not all there, but he is 80. There does come a point in time where there are certain jobs you don't need. It's not that you don't need to be working. It's not that you don't need to be living your life. It's not that you don't need to be living a very vibrant lifestyle or anything like that. But there are responsibilities that are far, far, far more extensive than, let's say, the typical nine to five that somebody in their 80s may not need to be doing. I think the presidency is one of them. I do. Quote, we need a new president in 2024. Well, the option there is pretty damn easy. Just vote for the last guy, Donald Trump, who is a complete beast in the position. But of course, I don't know if leftoids and many independents are ready to go that far just yet. But at least, finally, they're able to admit that this guy, sleepy, creepy, piss pants, dementia Joe, isn't fit for office. Wow. Great job, leftoids. It only took you four years to realize the basic truth of the situation, because apparently Apparently, this wasn't enough for people to realize that it's a bad idea to vote for this clown. Imagine had the tobacco industry been immune to, process, to being sued. Because you can't build a wall high enough to keep out a, 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 a vaccine. The vaccine can stop the spread of these diseases. America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was going to put him in uh, foot, foot. I'll lead an effective strategy to mobilize true and international effort to pressure. I mean, who could have seen all this coming? Definitely not this guy. But you know, like usual with these Democrats, I guess better late than never, right? Except here's the thing. While we got to give some of these celebrities credit for saying this uncomfortable truth, at least for them, it's quite uncomfortable because their audience is going to go after them. I think people are simply missing the picture. You know, Joe Biden isn't the disease. Joe Biden is simply a symptom. I don't know if I made that analogy quite correctly. Let me see if I could explain it. I don't think Joe Biden is the problem of the Democrat Party. He's the result of the problem, if that makes sense. 
The problem is the Democrat establishment that goes on and on about democracy, democracy, yet constantly works behind the scenes to subvert a natural electoral process. Go back to 2016. Bernie Sanders was a better candidate than Hillary Clinton. I mean, Bernie Sanders' politics is quite far left. You know, he's a socialist. But literally anything would be better than Hillary Clinton because Hillary Clinton is pure evil and completely controlled by corporate and globalist lobbyist power behind her. At least Bernie Sanders was authentic. He's also more charismatic, I'd argue more intelligent. But the entire Democrat machine worked to destroy him. And actually, them doing that kind of led to a lot of Bernie bros joining Team Trump. Tim Pool is a great example. Well, fast forward to the next election, it's the exact same thing. Andrew Yang at the time seemed like a possible dynamic presidential candidate, but they gave him no news coverage and literally muted his mic on the Democrat primary debate stage. Tulsi Gabbard, another great option or potential option, they smeared her as a Russian agent and a right winger. They forced Joe Biden's nomination and then colluded with big tech, CIA, FBI, and mainstream media to protect Joe Biden and smear the Republican incumbent presidential candidate, Donald Trump. That's the issue with Joe Biden. And so how do you fix that? By getting somebody else in office where it's just a perception of choice and change? Because that's all it'd really be if you vote for Pete Buttigieg or any other major Democrat on the ticket. All it's going to be is another establishment puppet, pretty much the same thing as Joe Biden, just the optics are better because he's not, you know, pissing his pants and falling upstairs. What, what, what? You know, that's the issue. And what you Democrats don't seem to realize is that you're part of a cult. You are literally in a cult. You know, on the Republican side, Republicans aren't perfect, but at least there's open discussion about topics and ideas. At least there's an actual open primary process that's a legitimate Democratic vote and process. At least there's choice. At least the voters have sway within the party. You don't. And so the question is, do you need a new presidential candidate for 2024 or do you need a new political party? The answer is you need a new political party or at least major reforms. You know, here's actually a great example. Former Twitter CEO and Twitter founder Jack Dorsey tweeted this. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. argues that he can beat Trump, DeSantis, and Biden. Jack Dorsey links that YouTube clip and then writes, he can and will. This is complete copium. My response was, never gonna happen. Dem voters will fall for the gaslighting campaign against him. That's exactly what's going to happen. The whole Democrat establishment is going to run a major character assassination campaign against Robert F. Kennedy Jr. And the entire Democrat voter base will simply buy it hook, line, and sinker. Oh, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is a literal Putin spy Kremlin agent. That's why he wants to dismantle the FBI and CIA. It has nothing to do with the CIA assassinating his father and uncle. It's all actual copium. There is no choice in the Democrat party. It's an illusion of choice. It's big donors, big banks, big money on Wall Street, big globalist influence that makes the decision for you by influencing the minds of the susceptible Democrat voter, the low information voter who reads the headlines and then moves on with their life. Ooh, Donald Trump has been indicted. Oh, he's a literal mafia boss. Donald Trump called white supremacists at Charlottesville very fine people. Oh, we can't vote for that guy. Not actually looking into any of it. There is a deep-seated rot within the Democrat party. You know, Robert F. Kennedy Jr. and you succeed, at the end of the day, what does it change? It doesn't do anything. Nancy Pelosi, the Clintons, those with influence in the House and in the Senate, are really the ones in charge. The Democrat party is so deeply corrupt, so hell-bent on power, so power-hungry, so willing to do the wrong thing to ensure that they maintain that power, that changing the face of it changes nothing. People supporting the Democrat party gotta come to that realization. You know, it's nice that finally people are waking up to the fact that Joe Biden is cognitively impaired. You know, it's nice that you finally woke up and joined us at the adult table, but you're not seeing the whole picture. Anyways, video is kind of random. I'm kind of all over the place. I said in the intro, you know, we got to be fair and give these leftoids credit when they say something right or when they finally wake up. And then I kind of just continued to kind of shit on them for the next, I don't know, six minutes of the video. Anyways, I just thought it was yet again a good viral clip of another Democrat kind of waking up. And I wanted to chime in with what was on my mind related to this clip and this topic. That's pretty much it. That's what I got for you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and possibly subscribe to the channel. You know we'd love to have you here. Thanks for watching, folks, and I'll see you on the next one.